another Killer Planes video. The Killer Planes How To Series. Right in this video, we're going to show you how to prettify the bottom of this plane so that everything looks a lot nicer than it did before, starting with the little nubbies that you sand off and then covering over servos and wheels and all kinds of things that makes it look kind of ugly. See this? This is the way it looks when it's done. So you're going to be much happier with a plane like this. Let me tell you, you're not going to be lying awake nights worrying about what the belly of your ME262 looks like. It's going to look like this. You're going to sleep like a baby. So let's go do it. You know, if you're going to bother doing the rest of this thing, you may as well smooth off all these little nubbies on the bottom of the dynam wings because they're all like this and they're pretty easy to smooth off. You take a sanding block, fine grit, and you just smooth them off like that, see? And this is how long it takes. If you want to get them really, really smooth, you spend a little more time on them like this and then they're really, really smooth. You can see if you shine a light along the surface, of the wing, right? You can see how smooth they're getting in reality. And if you spend 10 minutes on the bottom of the wing doing this, it's gonna look way, way better. And then we have our touch-up paint that we are going to touch up the bottom with. We can rub it on with a piece of paper towel since it's the same color as this, and we'll just, you know, do a touch-up job rather than a paint job. All right, and there's that little section of wing. It took me like a minute to do it and see how much nicer it looks than this. There you go. Okay, we'll start to prettify this 262 by masking out the front wheel and we're gonna spray the inside of that black. And I'm gonna spray the inside of these two wheel wells black too where you can see them. Just a couple of little shots is all you need. I'm using Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint. And it's for effect, you know what I'm saying? So when people look up in there, they see something dark, dark and foreboding. I'm using this blue masking tape for painting, although that will also take off paint. Um, that's okay because we're gonna touch this up anyways. I use a side mask to keep the paint from getting all over the place. And once again, just a couple of little shots. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's in a wheel well. All right, a little shot in here. There it is. Beautiful. Later on, I'm going to paint the insides here with some dark ray paint. So when you put it on the plane, it'll look nicey nice. Recognize this? It's part of a milk bottle. Great stuff, this plastic. So I cut the sides out of it and I made little plates and I made a more complicated one to go over the front here with a notch in it. It's gonna get contact cemented around the edges. I made little ones to go over the wing servos and they get contact cemented around the edges. And this is better than just using tape. So this is very handy stuff. Save your milk bottles. So here's how to put on one of these plates that's gonna cover over your servo. It's made out of that plastic you're going to Put a piece of tape on it. And then we use welders because it's clear contact cement. <clears throat> Just put a little bead around the edges, like so. All right, so I put it in place and rub some glue off onto the wing. Then pick it up and I'm gonna let those two sides dry now and then put it back on and you're done. Okay, I've waited my three minutes until everything's tacky and then I'm holding it by the tape. I'm gonna put it in place where I put it when I pressed it down with the glue on it. And there it is. And this one for the front of the gear here, I'm going to center it, make sure it's in place where it's supposed to be. And then draw where this door is. And I'm gonna cut these parts out of my little piece here. I'm gonna make marks where the corners are on this piece so I can tell where it gets installed. Now we cut this thing out on my cute little lines. There's that side and there it is. 
So a good type of tape handle for these is one that sticks up. So you put it over, you let it stick up a little bit, then you put the rest of it on. And now you have a little handle here that you can pick it up from this side. And since I know I'm going to be touching this up, I have no problem with sanding off some of the paint here where this contact cement is going to be. Okay, I have my piece with my handle on it. I have my welder's contact cement and I put a bead around the edge. And then I squish it on in place using my little pencil marks like so and eyeball it make sure it's nice and square and where it's supposed to be then squish your glue on so that it gets all over the plain side and out to the corners and now we let our piece dry and if you think you missed some glue like especially in the corners in the front you can put a little more on there. Don't pull it up, just little tiny bits and smear it around so it doesn't leave a bubble, uh, a pool of contact cement. Same over here. This looks a bit thin on this side, so we'll put a little more on there and smear it around. Okay, my glue is tacky, ready to put on. So we line it up with our two corners that we laid out. And then, you know, eyeball it, make sure it's straight, because this is your chance. Once these are on, you cannot get them off. Well, you can, but, you know, it's kind of a pain. All right, get all those corners down, nice and flat. And there it is. Now I can pull my tape off, and this baby will open up. And when I paint this over, you're going to see it's going to be a whole lot nicer looking. And I've cut a piece of Metamucil bottle or bleach bottle, white HDPE plastic. It has a curve in it because it's from a Metamucil bottle. So it fits like that. And we're just going to glue it on with a couple of stripes of hot glue. And this will be removable if we need to. But it'll stay on real nice if we won't, don't. So that's going to be a whole lot nicer looking and more aerodynamic front end than what you get from the factory. And I'm filling up all the little cracks and stuff because why not? If I'm going to bother painting the plane, I may as well make it a little nicer, right? So you fill cracks from the low side. What does that mean? It means if there's a side sticking out, you come from the other side. And then get the stuff out of the cracks that are supposed to be there panel lines they like to call them and then smooth the rest out with your finger while it's here like this now this just isn't just any old speckle this is crack shot made by dap it is high performance just like it says doesn't shrink anywhere near as much as most other spackles and it sticks to anything and stays there I use a two knife approach so I have one knife to scrape it off of and the other one to you know and clean the clean the working knife off right so I got and then I smooth out the outer edges with my finger and then I carve out the panel lines and then I'm done with that part isn't that nice Fill in these holes because they're ugly. You squish some spackle down into them. Squish it real hard. Here we are. So I've filled in the ugly holes. I've filled in the ugly cracks. I've filled in where the wires are. You can fill just about anything you want with spackle. And the amount of weight that you're adding to your plane <laughs> is near zero. I don't know. It might be five grams of spackle by the time you get done. But it makes it look at least 20 grams nicer, doesn't it? And there it is, everything's filled in. Ta-da! While you have the motors out, you take some black spray paint, you stick the nozzle in here, you hold the thing up straight, do this outside, of course, 
and just spray around the inside like this. And then you go in from the back and touch up with little tiny sprays, anything that looks like it needs it. And then now you have black insides of your jet engines when seen from the back. So I've lettered these things. You can use a black magic marker because you can see it on black plastic. B is this one. And then I put a piece of tape on the inside here so I could see it. I mark on the styrofoam where this rod is. Then I put my piece in and marked on the piece of tape where my mark was. And then take it out. And with a Dremel tool like this, I just go right through and make a notch. Like that. And then I have a notch where that rod is. And I did the same thing on A motor. And that goes into the A space with the fin in the slot. And now I have my motor tubes painted in back. You, can, you can't really see this spot that didn't get paint on it, you know, when you're looking into a dark tube in there. You can see from the back though, it looks pretty cool. It's black in there, you know what I mean? Ha <laughs> ha!